Yo, what's up, y'all? I am Blue. If you're new, subscribe and welcome to the content. I just want to speak about Mr. Beast content. You know, like I've been watching Mr. Beast since he had like 20 million subscribers. I figured out about him and his crazy videos. I didn't. I wasn't even like suggested by anyone or recommended by anyone to watch his video. I just discovered him on YouTube because I was on YouTube a lot that time, and that was back like when was he at 20 million? He was like. 2018 2017 i don't remember real well but that's when he was on like 20 million and he was like busting bro like his videos were going crazy i really enjoyed it and that's the thing i really enjoyed his videos now that he's on 100 million and his past seven videos have just not been hitting it for me bro it's like his videos are more focused on pleasing the algorithm than it is on entertaining the people like i'm not saying mr b should be listening to people's opinion but bro the content doesn't hit the same for me. Like, I, when I watch his content, it's like something out of a TV show, bro. Literally, him hosting a show for m people to win millions of dollars if they stay on an island for the rest of the day or if what, girls versus boys and whoever stays the most or at the end of 50 hours, they win 500k amongst themselves. Bro, that's something out of a TV show. It's like, I can't genuinely in be entertained anymore like not with pewdiepie pewdiepie i love his content it's like something anybody can do i don't think anybody can be able to you know produce the type of content mr beast does now his budget is insane bro like any startup youtuber who just wants to start you know creating content can't stop with what mr beast is current mr beast is currently doing and i'm not saying that oh it's the same with other YouTubers. Of course, there are other YouTubers whose uh, content you can't actually start, you know, implementing yourself or with your own original ideas and everything. But Mr. Beast is just, it's just like blowing it off proportion, bro. It's like a whole production with lighting, sound, cameras here and there. And it's weird because in, in one of his previous videos with Mr. Who's the Boss, he said that he's not trying to make his content seem all high quality and stuff. And I get it, you know, Mr. Beast is really trying so hard to relate to us, but it's not working because now it's like, who cares if he spends a hundred million dollars, you know? You miss the beast. You can get that. You know what I'm trying to say? It's nothing new. It's nothing surprising. It's nothing entertaining. And it's like you don't build a, a personal connection with the viewers anymore. It's like the content is made just so I can get the most views and the most following. And I don't feel it's that way, but that's just how I interpret it and that's how i perceive it it's like it's not catered for me and i get it sometimes content is not catered for you but i feel like it's not catered for a lot of people at this point and i've lost that connection like where mr beast used to make videos with his friends they play hide and seek or the one where they sat in the cereal bowl and the one where he was spending 24 hours in a solitary confinement the one he spent 24 hours underwater the one where he spent you know where he was mostly the main character of his own content now i just don't feel that you know and i'm not saying i hate mr beast or anything i love mr beast i love who he is he's a really good person he makes the best content i've seen like in in a long time you know like he's just been a really big inspiration for a lot of people who want to you know take on youtube and you know be successful in youtube and i really wanted to like follow his direction but it's like it's swaying away from what i really wanted to follow with him and i'm like more I, I feel more of a genuine connection with PewDiePie and PewDiePie has a hundred million plus subscribers and so does Mr. Beast. But with PewDiePie, he, he's not he's not trying to please the, the the YouTube algorithm. He's not trying to please YouTube. He's just genuinely making content and having fun. And he's not doing all these fast edits and his tone is just something that you can relate to. It's crazy. It's wacky. It's weird. You know, he lets himself be vulnerable to being known and stuff. Not with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast just seems like a brand, like a production. He's a host of a show and you just don't know who Mr. Beast is anymore. He he doesn't express a personality. He just express a brand and content. Like, I want to be able to enjoy Mr. Beast, him being funny and quirky and naturally, you know, entertaining. But I just don't feel that no more. And it's sad because the more and he uploads, you know, new content, the more I feel discouraged to watch it. Like, it's just the same old things, you know, like. I don't get it anymore, you know? Like, I enjoy PewDiePie more, you know? PewDiePie makes stuff that I can make. Like, he literally vlogs. I can do that, you know? Like, you can be a startup YouTuber and start doing whatever you, PewDiePie is currently doing. And, you know, you could actually build a connection with your community and your subscribers and your viewers. But with Mr. Beast, it's just like, you already got a lot of subscribers. You shouldn't be following the algorithm. Just make content because people enjoyed watching you make the, those crazy, you know, videos. But, you know, it's just, I'm not trying to change him. I'm not trying to tell him to follow my opinion or 
the opinion of millions of other people who think like me. I'm just saying is that with the fast edits and the flashy, you know, flashy, flashy content, the script everywhere, the sound is, you know, nauseating. A lot of people are also following this type of concert style. It's like it's losing its originality and its uniqueness. And I'm and I just want Mr. Beast to realize that we miss how we used to make content. I miss how we used to make content. I was genuinely feeling connected with that type of content and I felt like I could actually do it. But now it's just like we going separate ways, you know, like he's inspiration. He's he is still inspiration. He's still a YouTube inspiration for me. But it's just like I cannot follow you the way I thought I would follow you. And it's just sad. I feel like I should take more of a PewDiePie type of path. I like his content. I like that he's keeping to himself and he's being, you know, himself. He's being quirky and weird and he's not worried about the views and everything. He's still enjoying making YouTube videos and I really like that content. I just wish Mr. Beast could realize that we loved that content too. We loved where he was being quirky and weird and normal and awkward and funny naturally. And it was just more entertaining to watch that than it is to watch these million dollar production videos. I, I don't want to say I'm downgrading the videos. The videos are perfect. They're on the team. You can see the views and the likes. They're crazy. But I just wish it was the same as how I used I was used to it. Other than that, God bless. Have a nice life. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.